While searching for a cure to the pirate-afflicting Pax of Lechak, the fates of Guybrush Treepwood and Morgan the Flay are blown off course when they are swallowed by a lovelorn leviathan. Much to Morgan and Guybrush's surprise, an uneasy alliance to escape the beast blossoms into a genuine friendship between the pirate and pirate hunter. A tidal shift that leads Treepwood to the elusive Pax curing a Sponja Grande. But Guybrush learns too late that it is the wise pirate who prepares for the inevitable change in the winds as Morgan betrays him and returns him to the scientific clutches of the Marquis de Sange. Thirty thousand pieces of silver, mon petit chouchou. Just as we agreed. It had better be, or I'll cut the difference out of your fluffy wig. I got an idea. Why don't you let me go and I'll pay you double what the Marquis is paying. Don't embarrass yourself, Springwood. Oh yeah? I'll pay triple. Huh. Quadruple? Quintuple? Ha! Sextuple? Hmm. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, Sweepwood, you grossly underestimate the value of that which gushes through your body. Oh, I've got a pretty good idea. Why my spit alone once won me eight thousand pieces of eight on Booty Island. Then you should die, knowing that you gave a priceless gift to science. <gasps> Finally. I've got the sweep wood, I've got the formula, and soon I'll have nothing left than life eternal! Oh, I'm as happy as a penguin sliding on its belly! What is this? Ah, it's a welcome back party. I hope they brought ice cream cake. I brush Treepwood. We've been waiting a long time for this. Hey, why can't I stop my legs? What? No! No, come back! This cracker croaker's got a date in the court of pirate law! Yeah, test tube tinker and Talleyrand! What? And then the scurvy dog will hang. You! After him! Hey, I brought you three wood and you paid me. We're done here. We'll just see about that. Having been found guilty of our charges, you will be taken to the nearest ship and keel hard until your ravaged skin hangs in tatters from your bleeding. Guilty? But I haven't been charged with anything yet. You haven't? Where's that incompetent prosecutor? 
right here, Your Honor. Oh, great. Sorry I'm late, Your Eminence, but old Stan had to in flagrante his delicto. And there was a line in the washroom. Belay your excuses, you sniveling sea weasel, and get on with the charges. I've got grog waiting for me at Club 41. Of course, your immensity. Your Honor, pirates and wenches of the gallery. Hey, that's us. This evening I will prove beyond a scintilla of a shadow of a doubt that Guy Brush Threepwood is guilty of no fewer than four heinous crimes. I thought there'd be three. Firstly, that he did knowingly engage in a bar fight that horribly injured the beloved feline of local pirate elder, Emlock McGee. Hey, it's too good for him! Secondly, during this self-same fight, Captain Threepwood spilled boiling nacho sauce on the exposed leg of Bolson Catherine Krebs, hideously scarring one of Flotsam's shapeliest gams. Get him alive! Thirdly, that he did conspire with one Joaquin de Oro to craft and sell counterfeit porcelain power pirates. All about spreading the box! And finally, that he folded, spindled, and mutilated this previously pristine ex belonging to Flotsam's newest arrival, Killick Hardtack. What the heck? Um, yeah, he did that to me. Captain Threepwood, having heard the grave charges arrayed against you, how do you plead? I plead not guilty by reason of insanity. He looked pretty sane to me. Sure, now, but any second I could start using monkeys as needle nose pliers, or shooting myself out of trebuchets, or doing strange things with rubber trees. I'm crazy, I tells you. Crazy. The defendant will cease his inane histrionics, or the court will be forced to. to. yank out his tongue with a rusty shrimp fork! Okay, no insanity defense. I plead guilty, will I get out of here any quicker? Most definitely! Great, then I plead? After the summary executions by keel hauling, hanging, boiling, and uh, escapism! <laughs> escapism? Trust me, kid, you don't want to know. Okay, then. These charges are stupid. And believe me, I know from stupid. Captain Threepwood, you're out of order! I'm out of order. You're out of order. The whole mizzen mastin pirate legal system is out of order. The defendant will shut his festering gob before the court shuts it for him! Do it! Sorry. I plead 1,000% not guilty. Especially that last one about the X. Very well! Let it be recorded that the miserably guilty defendant has entered a plea of not guilty! Now, who would you like to represent your pathetic case? Hey Stan, why don't you represent me, for old times' sake? You mean those old times when you swindled me out of a ship, stuck me in a coffin for three months, scammed my insurance company, and got me involved with high-risk doubloon derivatives? Uh, yes? Sorry, kid, nothing personal, but I stand to make a bundle in legal fees off these honked-off flotsamites. They really don't like you. Don't you have some sort of public defender? A public defender? In pirate court? <laughs> a maroon. So that'd be a no, then. I guess I'll represent myself. Captain Threepwood, are you aware of the old pirate court saying, The pirate who represents himself in court has a soon-to-be keel-hauled fool for a client? <laughs> yes, Your Honor, and I am that fool. Fine! Your move, Counselor! Here's your briefs, kid. <laughs> 